And while I have life and strength, I shall never cease from the practice and teaching of philosophy, for I do nothing but go about persuading you all, old and young alike, to take thought not for your persons or your properties, but first and chiefly for the greatest improvement of the soul. This is my teaching. And if this is the doctrine which corrupts the youth, then I am a mischievous person. Wherefore, O people of Athens, I say to you, therefore, acquit me or not, but whichever you do, I shall never alter my ways, never adjust my approach to this maze, never reform till the end of my days, even if I have to die many times. Guidance apprehended by imagination, intuition, reason, touch, or feeling, says the name, and so on. But I'm quite the other can be fun, we can begin to understand. So to some it's not a shame to go on to. But God is all things in all. And God is nothing in any. God is often found in one thing small. Converse God is all in many. God endows us with sense and intellect. God endows us with sense and despite the abolition by the current inquisition of any intuition that you don't use when it comes to God.
Retribution. Then prove your repentance by the fruit it bears. Already the axe is laid to the roots of the trees, and every tree that fails to produce good fruit shall be cut down and thrown on the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance sake. But he who comes after me is mightier than I. I am not fit to take off his shoes. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. <laughs> okay. Do you come to me? Yeah, I want to get washed. I need to rather be baptized by you. No, no. Let it be so for the present. We do well now to conform to all that God requires. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, do not suppose I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I do not come to abolish, but to complete. Therefore, I tell you, so long as heaven and earth endure is not a letter, not a stroke will disappear from the law until all that must happen has happened. Therefore, whoever sets aside even the least of the law's demands will have the lowest place in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever keeps the law and teaches others will have the highest place in the kingdom of heaven. Unless you show yourselves far better people than the Pharisees and the doctors of the law, <laughs> you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. There was once a judge. And in the same town, there was a widow. Who constantly came before the judge seeking justice against her rival. <laughs> now, for a long time he refused, but in the end he said to himself, True, I care nothing for God nor people, but this widow is so great a nuisance, I will see her righted before she wears me out with her persistence. <laughs> will he really, Jesus? Will he? I tell you, he will vindicate them. Soon enough. Oh. But when the Son of God comes, will he too find faith on earth? Oh, well, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, that was rhetorical. Sorry, sorry. Thank you, Widow. Can't found brothers and sisters because two men! I said two men! Went off to the temple to pray. One, a Pharisee, Ooh. and the other, a tax gatherer. Oh. Oh. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Pharisee, why, he just stood right on up and prayed. I thank you, O God, that I am not like other people, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or, for that matter, like that tax gatherer. Oh, wow. I pray twice a week, get that twice a week, and pay taxes on all that I get. But the other kept his distance and would not even raise his eyes to the good Lord in heaven! I said the good Lord in heaven! <laughs> but beat upon his breast, saying, Oh God, have mercy on me, sinner that I am! And it was this man, I tell you. Oh, you've got to be kidding! And not the other, who went off and quitted of his sins. For everyone that exalts themselves shall be humbled. But... Everyone that humbles themselves shall be exalted. Oh, Father in heaven. <laughs> shall be exalted. Yes. <sighs> You've learned that they were told, do not commit murder. Do not. Anyone who commits murder must be brought to judgment. But I will say this, anyone who nurses anger against another must be brought to judgment. So the person who abuses others must answer for it in the court. But the person who sneers at others must answer for it before the throne of God. Now tell me this. What if you are bringing a gift to the altar and you suddenly remember that your neighbor has a grievance against you? Hey! Oh, no, 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 no. Leave your gift where it is before the altar. <laughs> ah. Leave it. Okay. First, go and make a peace with your neighbor. There once was a king. Yeah, yeah. Who decided to settle accounts with the people who served him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not the end of the story. Huh? 
No sooner had the man gone out than he met a fellow servant who owed him a few dollars. He put them by the throat and said, Pay me what you owe me. The man threw himself on his fellow servant's feet and begged him crying. B -b 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 Be patient with me and I shall p -p pay you. But he refused and had him jailed until he should pay the debt. Well, the other servants were deeply distressed when they saw what had happened. They ran and they told their master the whole story. Accordingly, he sent for the man. <laughs> I remitted the whole of your debt when you appealed to me. Were you not bound to show your fellow servants the same pity I showed you? And so angry was the master that he condemned the man to torture until he could pay the debt in full. <laughs> and that is how my Heavenly Father will deal with all of you. Unless you learn to forgive others. tell you this. Never set yourself against someone who wrongs you. So, if someone slaps you on the right cheek, simply turn and offer them your left. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hello? It's your father. He wants you to like him on the Facebook. <laughs> If someone sues you for your shirt. Pictionary. Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, one of them. Um, Who's really good at Pictionary? Yeah. Pictionary. Hurry up and get somebody. Oh, you better be smart. 
Sues you for your shirt. All right, you get it. This great. Good. You get it. This. This is good. Bow. We played before. It's a great girl. Okay. Then you have to do the picture for us. How long does it take to see you? as well. Now, if someone in authority asks you to go one mile with them, has to go one mile with them. to give and never turn your back on one who wants to borrow. Hey, could I borrow that drum? those who love you. Now, what's extraordinary about that? I mean, even the politicians do as much. No. Your goodness must know no bounds, just as your Heavenly Father's goodness knows no limit. But be careful not to make a show of your religion before others. For if you do, no reward awaits you in the kingdom of heaven. Oh, when you do some good deed, there's no need to announce it on Facebook as the celebrities do with their podcasts and Twitter feeds. I tell you they do so just with admiration from others. No. When you do some good deed... Don't let your right hand know what your left hand 
Your good deed must be done in secret. It's a secret. What the good master is telling us is that when God tells a little secret on us, the angels write it down. No, no, no. Your God in heaven, who sees all that is done in secret, he will what? Reward you. There once was a rich man who dressed in purple and the finest linen. That's me! And every day feasted in great magnificence. At his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus. Lazarus! Come on down! Lazarus, where'd you go? I haven't seen Lazarus. I haven't seen him anywhere. Lazarus! Lazarus! You know, Lazarus, Lazarus, go. Oh, oh, Lazarus! Oh Lazarus? my goodness, it's been so long! Can oh my gosh! Is that really quick? Is that all right? Thank you. Can we borrow you for a sec, Lazarus? Come on, right this way. We got Lazarus, guys. Wow. Lazarus. Go ahead, right up here. Who would have been glad to have satisfied his hunger with the scraps from the rich man's table? Oh my God, it's good. Here's a card. Read that to me. The doggy doggies used to come with his open running swords. <laughs> well, one day Lazarus died. Oh, there he is. And was carried away by the angels to be with Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried in Hades. Yeah! Hades, 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 Hades. Hello. Hello. Uh, where he was in torment. Oh, 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 oh Father oh. Abraham, do me a favor. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in cool water, for I'm in agony in this dump. He looked up, and there far away was Abraham with the angels. Remember, my child, that while you was on the earth, all the good fell to you. And all the bad to Lonnie. Lazarus. Abraham. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and now, it is he who has consolation and you who are in agony, but that ain't all. There is a great chasm fixed between us, and no one on your side that wants to cross over it can, and no one on our side that wants to cross over it can either. Then, Father Abraham. Send Lazarus to my family's house to warn them so that they may not come to this place of torment, too. They got Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. But if someone from the dead should rise and they would listen. Look, if they don't want to let them. Yes! If they don't want to listen to Moses and the prophets, then they ain't going to listen to nobody. Even if somebody should. Rise from the dead. Let me see your birth certificate. How can I be sure you're the real father, A? No, Take your know. birth certificate and show it. Hey! Don't stop it. I can see a swath of sinners setting yonder and they're acting like a pack of fools. Gazing into space, they let their minds wander instead of studying the good Lord's rules. You better pay attention, build your comprehension. There's gonna be a quiz of your ascension, not to mention any threat of hell. But if you're smart, you'll learn your lessons well. Let's hear it for Lazarus! <laughs>
servant can be loyal to two masters. Either she will love the first and hate the second. Hey. Or be devoted to the second and think nothing of the first. Like the suck. <laughs> now, no one can serve God what? and money. Oh, yeah. God. This very night, you must surrender your life. You have made your money. Who will get it now? God choose to clothe the grass, which is here today, and tomorrow is thrown on the fire. Will he not all the more clothe you? How little faith you have. 
So do not go around to anxiously saying, well, what am I to eat? What am I to drink? <laughs> well, what are we to eat? Don't, don't, don't ask that. that. <laughs> Set your mind where? On God. God's kingdom and justice and all the rest will come to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Each day has problems of its own. I wish people would just be kind. Yeah, like, why can't we just be nicer to each other? Oh, yeah. Jesus! Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Oh, blessed are they that mourn. For they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek. For they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for justice. For they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall have mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers. They shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for righteousness sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you. When people revile you and persecute you and say all evil things against you. Falsely. <clears throat> Did I ever tell you that I used to read feet? What? No, seriously, some people read palms or tea leaves me. I read feet. No, wait, look here. Look what this it says. It says, rejoice. It says, rebock. <laughs> no, no, rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. 
Judge not, so that you yourself will not be judged. For whatever you deal out unto others. <gasps> Falco, punch! Oh, you want more water? Yeah, I do. No! Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah I thought you were pretty rock. Pretty rock, that looks pretty rock. Yeah, go stand on it. Oh, yeah. Look at the nice view. Nice view. Yeah. A gardener went to sow some seed, and as she sowed, some seed fell along the footpath, where it was trampled on, and the birds ate it up. <laughs> some seed fell in among the rocks, and after coming up, withered from lack of moisture. <laughs> some seed fell in among the weeds. <laughs> and the weeds grew up with it and choked it. <laughs> and some seed fell into good soil. Hey, that's us. And it grew and it yielded a hundredfold. Now, if you have ears to hear, then listen. Listen, for this is what the parable means. Do you know what the seed is? Of course. The stimulus package. <laughs> oh. No. The seed is the word God. And that seed was following the footpath. Oh, they hear the word, but then the devil comes and carries them off before they should believe and be saved. And that was following the rock. Oh, they received the word with joy when they first hear it, but have no roots. And so in times of testing, they deserve. And that was following the weeds. Oh, they hear the word, but. The further growth is impaired by cares and wealth and pleasures of the world. No, 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 no. They bring nothing to fruit. But that was following good soil. Hey, good soil. They hear the word with a good and honest heart, and through the perseverance yield a harvest. Come on, let's form a circle. A big circle.
you. My turn. Wait. Okay. Uh, once upon a time, there was a man who had two sons. And one day, the younger son went to his father and said, Father, give me my share of the property. And so, he divided his estate between them. A few days later, the younger son turned the whole of his share into cash and left home for a distant country where he squandered in reckless living. And when he had spent it all, a severe famine fell upon the country. Oh, I'm out of here. Peace. He began to feel the pinch, and so he attached himself to one of the local landowners who sent him to his farm to mind the swine. Swine! He would have been happy to have filled his belly with the pods that the pigs were eating. But no one gave him anything. And then one day he came to his senses and said, How many of my father's paid servants have more than enough to eat? And here I am, starving to death. Here's what I will do. I will set out, I will go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against God and against you, and I am no longer fit to be called your son. Treat me as one of your servants. And so the young man set out. But while he was a long way off, his father saw him. And his heart went out to him. The young man saw his father, rushed to meet him, threw his arms around him, and kissed him, saying, Father, I have sinned against God and against you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. Treat me as one of your paid servants. But the father said, Quick, fetch me one of my servants. Bring me my robe, my best one. Put a ring on his finger and shoes on his feet and bring the fatted calf and kill it. <laughs> and let us have a feast to celebrate the day for this son of mine was lost and is now found and the festivities began yeah! now the older son was out on the farm working and on his way back to the house he heard music and dancing so he called to one of the servants and asked what was going on the servant said, uh, 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 your nephew, uh, your cousin, uh, your brothers come back home again, and your father's killed a fat of calf for him because he hasn't back safe and sound. Uh, yup, yup, yup. <laughs> the brother was um, irritated. Come on! He was pretty damn mad and refused to go inside the house. The father came out and pleaded with him, but he retorted in there. You know I worked with you all these years, and never once did I disobey your orders. And you never gave me so much as a kid for a feast with my friends. But the son of yours turns up after running through your money with his women, and you killed the fat of Catherine! My boy, said the father, you are always with me, and everything I have is yours. Now how could we not celebrate this happy day, for your brother here was dead and has come back to life, metaphorically speaking, was lost in his found. No. I don't want to. And you can't make me. I missed you! Oh, I love you guys! I love you guys! I love you guys!
First, let me ask you a question. If you answer it, I'll tell you by whose authority I act. The baptism of John, was it from God or from man? If we say from God, he will say, then why did you not believe? But was it from man? The people. Was he angry so they took John's conscience? We do not know. Then neither will I tell you by whose authority I act. But I have a story for you. A man had two sons. Now he went to the first son and said, Now go, my son. Go and work in the vineyard today. I will go, said the son, but never went. Now later on he went to the second son and said, Now go, my son. Go and work in the vineyard today. I will not go, said the son, but later on changed his mind and went. Now, which one of these two did as his father wished? And that tax gatherers and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of heaven ahead of you. For when John came and showed you the right way to live, you did not follow him, but the tax gatherers and prostitutes did. And even when you saw this, you would not change your minds and follow him. Master, you are an honest man. Give us your ruling on this. Are we or are we not permitted to pay taxes to the Roman emperor? <laughs> Show me the money in which the tax is paid. <laughs> Who's that is on here? Who's in scripture? Caesar. Then pay Caesar what is due Caesar, but pay God what is due God. Uh, master, what is the greatest commandment of them all? <laughs> That you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. That is the greatest commandment of all. And the second is like it, that you shall love your neighbor as yourself. All the rest of the law and all the prophets have written are based upon these first two. Oh, the Pharisees and doctors of law sit in the chair of Moses, therefore listen to their words. Hear what they say, but do not follow their practices. For they say one thing and do another. They pile up heavy packs and put them on the average person's shoulders, but will not lift a finger themselves to lift the Lord. Everything they do is done for show. Oh, they like to go about wearing their 
broad flat trees with large tassels on the robes, and like to be greeted respectfully in the streets and have their places of honor at the feasts and to be worshipped in the synagogues. But you, you must not call anyone teacher, for you have one teacher, the Messiah. And you must not call anyone on earth God, for you have one God and he is in heaven. And you must call no one on earth rabbi, for you have one rabbi. <laughs> to gather your children as the hen gathers the brood under her wings, but you would not let me. Therefore I tell you, you will never see me again until a day where you say, Blessings on them who come in the name of the Lord. But take care that none mislead you, for many will come claiming my name and saying, I am the Messiah. You should follow me. For I am the greatest to ever live. You should follow me because I was the man that walked on water. And many will be misled by them. Now, who is thy trusty servant? The man charged by his master to take care of the other servants and pay them at the proper time. Well, happy is the servant who is there when his master comes, for I tell you, he will be put in charge of all of his master's property. But what of the bad servant? Who says, oh yeah, well, the master's a long time coming. And begins bullying the other servants and eating and drinking with his drunken friends. I tell you, the master will come on a day he does not know at the time he least expects and will cut him to pieces. Where he will take his place among the hypocrites. Where there is wailing. Wailing. Gnashing teeth. So stay awake then. For you do not know on what day your Lord is to come. Remember this. Had the house owner known when the burglar was coming, he would have stayed awake all night long. Master, this woman was caught stealing, and in the law that Moses laid down, such people are to be stoned. Yeah, what do you say about it, mister? Did the one of you that is faultless stone? Get out! Get out! Get out! Where are they now? Has no one condemned you? No more, sir. Nor do I condemn you. You may go. Do not sin again. <laughs>
Son of God comes with all the nations gathered before him, he will separate them into two groups, as the shepherd separates the sheep, the ass, from the goats. Ah! So he'll put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Sheep on his right? Oh, that right. Oh. And then he will say to those on his right, You have God's blessing. Come and enter the kingdom that has been raised since before the world was made. For when I was hungry, you gave me food. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. When I was naked and without a home, you took me into your house. And when I was ill and in prison, you came to my aid. Hey, 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 hey. Get back there. And then they will say to him, But master, when have we ever fed you when you were hungry or gave you drink when you were thirsty? Yeah, when in <coughs> prison and helped you? And then he will say to them, Anything you did for one of your neighbors here, however humble, you did for me. Oh, I get it. And then he will say to those on his left, yeah. A curse is upon you. Yeah. You will go from my sight, never to be in my presence again. For when I was hungry, you would not give me food. When I was thirsty, you gave me nothing to drink. When I was naked and without a home, you would not let me into your house. And when I was ill and in prison, you did not come to my aid. And then they will say to him, Oh, master, if we don't know what's here, we would have taken you out. We're a couple of ladies. And then he will say to them, Anything you did not do for one of my children here, however humble, you did not do for me. Pearl! Pearl! One, two, three, four! <laughs>
tell you this. One of you among us will betray me. Can it be me, Lord? 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 The words are yours. Do quickly what you must do. Take this and eat. Eat for this is my body. Take this and drink. Drink for this is my blood. blood of the covenant shed for the forgiveness of sins. And I tell you this, I will never again drink from the fruit of the vine until the day where I drink with all of you in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm.
be possible this cup passed me by. Yet not as I will, but yours be done. What? Could none of you stay awake? Stay awake one hour and be spared the test. Though the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. I tell you this, tonight before the cock crows, you will all betray me three times. Father, if it not be possible, this cup pass me by without drinking from it. Your will be done! You are the son of God. Turn these stones into bread. Man does not live on bread alone. He lives on every word that God utters. You shall not tempt the Lord your God. I will do this for you if you will give me a lodge. Be Lord taken! You shall worship the Lord God alone. Put down the sword. He who lives by the sword dies by the sword. to come to my aid? Do you take me for a bandit that you come after me with swords and cudgels? No. Day after day I sat teaching you in the synagogue, and you did not come after me then. Yet all this has happened to fulfill what the prophets have written. <laughs>
Thank you.